I'm Nadir, a content creator and producer. A couple of hours until the deadline. You know how many hours you have to the deadline? How many? Now. <laughs> I'm interested in alternative culture and pursuing an answer to a question that I've always had. Who am I? As a mixed ethnic boy, I've, I've, I've never felt like I fully belong anywhere. <laughs> Someone's touching me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to discover how other young people like myself are negotiating their identity, whether cultural and spiritual traditions clash with a young generation's attitudes towards lifestyle. I travel and seek to discover a new global youth culture that is emerging in hopes I can find a place I belong. I've traveled to my old home, Berlin, but I wanted to know if there was more to Berlin than its reputation of just sex, drugs and rock and roll. So I've gone to meet the young Berliners who upend the stereotype and embrace an alternative idea of diverse Berliner culture. I'm on my way to meet my good friend Emine, a hip-hop dancer who is a prominent figure in Berlin's underground battle scene. Berlin is known for its obsession with techno and electronic music, but despite that, a strong underground hip-hop scene has survived in its shadow. In this episode, I join Emine in her studio to find out why she continues to teach hip-hop to a new generation as they prepare for an upcoming battle. Tell me because my English is bad. Everything is really good. Everything really? Okay. Good. Okay. Everything you're saying is really, really, really good. Thank you. Your English is really good. Be confident. You sure? Yeah. This is so sweet. Oh my God. Look at this. It's so small. <laughs> my name is Emmy. I'm a dance teacher in hip hop. And I was a professional dancer before. I do some battle championships. Well, Emmy, today you took me to your dance studio. Yes. What was happening there? Yeah, I got some rehearsals for a championship for my kids. It's uh, it called Berliner Meisterschaften. My kids are winning so much championships, but not because of the moves, because of the feeling, because of the vibe in the room. We believe in ourselves and in each other. Uh, what's the dance studio called? Schadenfreude. <laughs> 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 yes. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, so we're here in Charlotte's Boogie Stube. <laughs> and I'm with the dance crew. Boogie crew. And they're dancing a little rendition for me, and it's gonna be awesome. Woo! Music. Woo! Best dancing. Teaching is not just the moves, everybody can do some moves, but for me it's important the best human bring out from the kids. And if you do it right, really right, and with love, you can bring the best out from a kid. Zayn Malik's my cousin. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh, change it. Now he's <laughs> The important thing is that you really love them. You know, they kids want love. I have kids, they don't have parents also, so I, I give everything I have. Really, I give my whole love for them. Why is she the best? Yes. Yeah, look at her, she looks awesome. It's passion, it's passion. How much is she paying you? How much is she giving you? Uh, she pays us a lot, she pays us a lot. You step outside and they can tell me what they do. <laughs> You can change their life with dancing. You can put them away from bad stuff, like drugs or something like this. They are more open-minded. They are not like, this is right and this is wrong. Different culture, different religions, everybody together and we just have uh, fun and we have love for each other. You know, this is really important in dancing. <laughs> and how long have you known these guys? How long? Like seven years? They was like this. And now they're all taller than you. This is so sad. I'm 26 and she's, she's 17. She's like the 17. only one who's smaller than her, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny, but... We used to be smaller. Yeah, yeah. we used to we were like this. this. We were like this when we, we went like this. Yeah, so know her. now I'm the dance teacher. I, I asked them before I take my hijab. So I was like, okay, what do you think about the hijab? And they're like, 
So nice! We have the only uh, the only uh, teacher with hijab. You are the only one in Germany. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, it's cool or not? It's so cool, Emmy. So I'll ask you again. You're not you're not sad that she's not no, competing. Not. No, she's still, she's the, still same. the same person. She's still yeah. the same. It's change. just her religion. He will never change. I hope so. No, and she will never change. <laughs> <laughs> she. she. Like she was she good? Was she a good dancer? Or? Yeah, she's, like, she's, a dancer. She's, she's still a good dancer. dancer. Check out Borderline. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Borderline. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, mic check. Deutsche rap. Deutsche rap. They talk too much bullshit, but I like German rap. Hijami likes German rap, dancing, hip hop. I don't know what kind of hijabi is this. Still, I'm a human. I'm not perfect. So, it's, uh, for me, it was difficult because my parents, if I told my parents, like, hey, I start to dance, and if I'm telling them, like, I'm dancing hip hop, they were like, no. <laughs> if I don't dance, I dancing is uh, really changing my life. Even now they don't accept, but I'm doing for myself. I'm doing for the kids, I'm doing for my friends, I'm doing for the world because I want to change something. And I hope that everybody one day open-minded and understand what dancing really is. I find Emine's journey scarily familiar. As I headed home, I kept thinking about something Emine had said about her parents not approving of her dancing and it really reminded me of similar situations people like Emine and myself can find ourselves in. A young girl growing up in a multicultural world that is really different from her parents. In the next episode, Emine invites me to her home and we have a brutally honest conversation with her mum who insists dance ruined her life. I couldn't leave Berlin without finding out more.